Help! My ex blocked me and I don't know what to do! Today I'm going to teach you how to make your ex unblock you. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to tell you a story of exactly how one of my clients got her ex to unblock her. But hey, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can get up to date information on my next videos. Plus it really helped me out. Now the thing you need to understand about being blocked is the first thing you should always do is figure out the extent of the block. Now not a lot of people realize this, but there are actually two distinct categories you can fit into if you've been blocked. You've got the partial block and the full out block. Defining what these categories mean if you fit into them is pretty straightforward. The partial block is a situation where you're blocked almost everywhere. And the full out block is a situation where you are blocked everywhere imaginable. It seems pretty straightforward, right? But what if I were to tell you that it's not? And that it can actually be very difficult to figure out which category you fit into. Someone from my private Facebook support group recently pointed out that she performed a test with one of her friends. She had the friend block her and then she went ahead and texted her friend to see what it looks like on her friend's phone and her phone. Common sense would have you believe that if you're blocked, your text message wouldn't even send. But in her case, it did. And in fact, on her perspective, from her phone, the text message delivered. So even if you think you're not blocked from texting your ex, you can still be blocked, especially if there's no indication from your side that you have been blocked from your phone. But this is all a moot point, especially when it comes to answering the million dollar question, how can you get your ex to unblock you? Is it even possible? Well, perhaps one of the things I'm proudest of is the fact that I have a lot of data. Millions of people have visited my websites and interacted with my articles. Tens of thousands of individuals have bought my products. Thousands of people have gotten their exes back. We have over 2000 people in our private Facebook group. That's a lot of data to go by, and you better believe we found an interesting trend when we looked at all the women and men who have admitted to getting their exes to unblock them. Trends are important because they highlight certain through lines that you can use for your situation going forward. Recently, I went to our private Facebook support group and looked at all the women and men who have admitted to getting their exes to unblock them. I wanted to see what these women and men were doing and the answer kind of shocked me. Every single person that admitted to getting unblocked said they didn't do anything. Now, upon digging deeper, I actually found that that's not the case. They did do something, they just weren't aware they were doing it. Pretend for a moment you're a child. You go to a park and you want to play on all of the jungle gyms and swings and everything you see there. It's all very exciting. So you hop on over and you start swinging. But in the corner of your eye, you see a group of kids playing on a jungle gym. Immediately, you are drawn to the kids in that jungle gym. You're watching them playing and having fun. You feel left out. What's worse is only four kids are allowed on the jungle gym. And there's already four kids there. You want nothing more than to go play with those kids. You don't care about swinging anymore. You don't care about any of the other toys or jungle gyms or swings around. You just want to play with those kids. But you can't. You are on the outside looking in. The people who succeed in getting their exes to unblock them create that sense with their exes. They post things on Facebook. They do things on Snapchat. They do things on Twitter if you're using Twitter that makes their ex feel like they are on the outside looking in, that makes their ex sort of wish, hmm, I wish I was there with them. Now, at the beginning of this video, I promised that I would tell you a story of a client of mine and what she did to get her ex to unblock her. And what she did was absolutely brilliant and it's something that I'm gonna give to you and you can steal from this video right here, right now, if you are in a category of being partially blocked. You see, my client was blocked pretty much everywhere except text messaging. She could communicate with her ex through text, but her ex had her blocked on Instagram and Facebook and all of those other social media platforms that they were a part of. Now, for my average client, this isn't that big of a deal. They're looking for any way they can talk to their ex at all. And a way was open between this particular client. But for my client, she was not happy with the fact that she was blocked on Facebook. So she came up with a plan. She posted a picture on Facebook that she knew her ex would be really interested in. 
and then she proceeded to tell her ex about the picture. Hey, check out my picture on my Facebook profile. The problem was he couldn't. He was blocked. So by her sending this text message to him, it forced him to unblock her on Facebook to watch or look at this particular picture. But again, this harkens back to the fact that she put her ex in a situation where he was on the outside looking in. Start to brainstorm ways that you can do this.